This is Paint Live TV. I'm Chrissy Idaho Painter. And I'm Captain Zach. And we're here to show you five more amazing tools. So we've done several of these videos in the past, but see there's more than five tools that you should have in your toolbox, and there's more than five amazing tools, so we gotta make more than one of these videos. But now we're gonna show you five more really cool tools that you need to have in your toolbox. And we got them sitting around here, Zach. So Zach, why don't you grab the first one that you think, okay, there you go. You grab the gooseneck brush. What is that thing for, Zach? This is the gooseneck brush, and it's it's for reading those touch to reach, tough to reach cut-ins that uh, you wouldn't normally be able to get to. So you can put this thing on a, a big pole and be able to cut in like a ceiling line or something like that. So let's see that thing. So this thing actually screws on an extension pole. This is one of the amazing things about this paintbrush is it screws right on the extension pole, no tools needed. But what else does it do, Zach? It also bends to any angle that you want it. So if you got one of those really tough spots, I mean, you can adjust this thing everywhere and it's really tough too. So it's not gonna, you know, bend when you're trying to cut in. So. Absolutely amazing. So saying, well, bend to whatever position you want, screws on an extension pole, let me see the extension pole. And where we use these things, if I'm say, got a um, ceiling fan in the middle of a room, it's really high up and I can't get to it, don't have a ladder, I can screw this thing on an extension pole, no tools needed. That's one of the cool things, no wing nuts, nothing to do. Now I can reach up, extend up, use an extension pole as high as you want, and now you can cut in around that ceiling light. Absolutely amazing, this is, the gooseneck brush from Richard, Richard Tools. So what's the next one, Zach, that you're the, gonna grab? The next one we got from Richard again. Richard, it's, hey, uh, we got another tool from Richard. The, their oven mitt. No, it's so, uh, um You could, uh, well, actually, you probably wouldn't wanna use it for an oven mitt, because yeah, it would probably catch on fire. Yeah. Or catch on fire. But it looks just like an oven mitt. Here, I'll open it up. Um, this thing is absolutely amazing. So this is weird because I thought it was pretty silly when you know we first got them. And I'm like, no way. And I was like, I'm never going to use it. But there was one time we used it not that long ago. What did we use it for, Zach? Um, we used it for some iron spindles and we used a product called multi-surface acrylic for it. And it worked absolutely amazing. I was blown away how well this thing worked. So we had some like hand railing and stuff. We had iron work that was about this big around. And we started using this thing and just rubbing it on with the multi-surface acrylic. The finish came out absolutely amazing. So spindles, um, wrought iron fences and stuff like that. This is a throwaway mitt. It's a one-time use mitt. You wouldn't want to use it more than one time. It's just not worth it to try to clean it. It's just better just to throw it away because they're really ex inexpensive and cheap. So that is the Richard painter's mitt. So what else do we got, Zach? Now we've got the mud and more mix, mix ball. ball. So this thing is absolutely incredible. This is a new tool that we just discovered ourselves here in the last year. And this thing does look like an exercise ball, but it's a lot more than an exercise ball. So it comes with this ball, which has a hole in it, comes with, what is that, Zach? This is a little rubber spatula. It's a little rubber spatula. And what the heck do you do with the spatula? Uh, well, you put it on this drill. So this thing mixes up your mud and hot mud if you do drywall repairs, and it mixes it up butter smooth every single time. It comes with a measuring cup. So it comes with a couple cups, one's for water, one's for the um, hot mud. And so you just put in three scoops of mud, one scoop of water, and then you take that spatula, stick it inside, inside there, and voila, it makes perfectly smooth mud every single time. The Mud More Mix Ball, absolutely incredible. You got to have one of those things. It needs to be in your toolbox. And now, now we got another tool, Zach. What do we have here now? This is the high dual extension. Dual head tip extension, or sometimes we call it the dual headed snake. And what the heck is that thing for? Um, so there's a lot of controversy on this just because of people saying it's gonna be easier just to use a huge tip like a 1221 or something like that. But instead, if you use two 515 tips, you'll actually do two fans and you'll have less overspray and a better coverage. So do the math. So a tw you can take a 1221, that's what people were saying. Why don't I just use a 1221 to get the same width as this thing? Because this thing 
is got you put two tips on it and now it extends it out to like a 1221 tip but you can put two 515 tips and now you've just cut down your overspray in half and you can spray extremely fast this thing is absolutely amazing we got a bunch of videos showing you this thing how fast you can spray with it but there is one other thing about this thing a 1221 tip what if you only have a Titan 440 pump, a small pump. Um, can you run this thing with a Titan 440? You, you can run that with this, so. Yep, so you can run a Titan 440 with this with two 515 tips and get the same width as a 1221 tip, which you couldn't run a Titan 440 with a with the 1221 tip. So a lot of those smaller pumps won't spray that big of a fan, that big of a width. So this thing is absolutely amazing. It's the Hyde dual headed tip extension. That is a must have if you do any airless spraying. What's the other thing? You've used this thing quite a few times, Zach. Yeah, what spent, is that? Spent many hours with this. This is the Kraft shield, uh, cardboard shield holder. And what do you like about that shield holder, Zach? Um, it beats masking in certain areas. So it's pretty easy just to put on the bottom of the house uh, where the siding meets the foundation and just stick this underneath there and you'll get a perfectly straight line every time. We use it to shield off gutters. One of the things I like about this one versus any other one I've ever used is it adjusts without using any tools. Once again, you don't have to fumble with wing nuts and tighten them and loosen them. It's not heavy, it uses cardboard, so it's really light for us weaklings. You know, it, that it starts to take its toll using those metal shields over long periods of time. It's plastic. It does not come with the handle. This handle is comes off of a squeegee. We just go to our local uh, do-it-yourself hardware store, buy a window squeegee, take the window squeegee off, and we just use the extension on there. About uh, what about controlling overspray? How else do you control overspray with it, Zach? Um, you can, I mean, you can do Throw a whole corners. bunch of things. Yeah, corners. You can uh, do fences. You can put it on the tops of fences, and when you're spraying up, that'll kind of control the overspray there. I mean, it's amazing. Very a huge variety tool. of uses. Yeah, this thing is a must-have. It's the Kraft cardboard shield holder. It's very inexpensive, and you can't leave home without it if you're concerned about controlling overspray. These five tools, they are available in our tool store at theidahopainter.com or go to our direct link store.theidahopainter.com and you can find these tools. We like them so much, we put them in our store so you can get them there because some of them, they're not easy to find. So there you have it, Zach. That is five amazing That was tools. five tools. And that was fast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Did you enjoy it, Zach? I did. I'm going to give this video a thumbs up later, so hopefully you guys do. So if Zach's going to give it a thumbs up, I think you should give it a thumbs up. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. And like we always say, we'll see you on our next video. Out. Out.